Good afternoon guys, Jake here. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. Today is Friday, it is frigid out. I think the high temperature today was about 18 degrees. The wind's been ripping around with a wind chill of about zero. I'm all bundled up, I got my bibs on, I got my insulated pants on, my long johns, the whole nine yards. As you can probably hear behind me, the tractor is warming up. And we're gonna be doing a couple firewood deliveries today. First on the docket, we have a one cord delivery, and then that's going to be followed by a third of a cord or a face cord for uh, those of you who like to call it that. Um, I have the cord of dry, ready to go ash in the IBC totes over here. I got three of them with the whole front cut out. And um, I actually have had a couple people ask me, including Chris from In The Wood Yard. So Chris, if you're watching that video or this video, um, I'm doing this kind of for you and for my own sake, but people have been asking how long it takes me to load the three IBC totes into the trailer, which obviously equals a cord. Now that I have kind of worked out all the kinks, I got the chains and everything, so it goes pretty quick. So today I'm gonna do a real-time video of, you know, best case scenario. I'm gonna line all the totes up right next to the trailer, and we're gonna try and, you know, dump them in the trailer and time to see how long it takes. In the past, I've kind of done a rough estimate, and I think it's taken me about 18 minutes, somewhere around there, to load the three into the back of the trailer completely, fully, you know, done. But we're gonna see if we can, uh, you know, beat that number by a little bit here today. So once the tractor's finished warming up, I'm going to move the totes over here, and we'll get all staged, and then we'll start the clock and see how long it takes. Okay guys, so we got the three totes here. I got two over there and one on the forks. The SureTrack dump trailer is right here. Um, so as you guys, if you don't you know, really remember, I added on these chains onto the side of the totes here, or onto the side of the forks to then attach to the totes to be able to uh, just quickly, you know, kind of do a quick attach to the forks. That way I can dump them. Um, as you can see, the whole front of this tote is cut out. This is my really beat up tote. And then these two totes have the fronts cut out as well. Um, so I'm going to set up the cameras and we're gonna time and see how long this takes. Um, I'm just gonna you know, load one after the other, take off the empty, put on another full one, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. All right, here we go.
All right, guys, that's all three totes. Just gotta throw these last couple pieces in. What's the time? What's the time? We are at nine minutes and six seconds. Nine minutes, six seconds. Is it the neatest cord in the trailer? No, probably not. But it is all in there. As you guys know, I've mentioned before that a full cord in this trailer is evenly kind of tossed in up to these uh, two foot sides. That, uh, that equates to, I think it's 196 cubic feet. So that's actually a little bit over um, a loosely thrown cord, but that was nine minutes and six, seven seconds or something like that. So you get all three totes in and everybody knows that three totes equals one cord, there we go. Now guys, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with those results of nine minutes. That's, uh, I don't know what I was doing the last time I did it, but uh, I must have had a lot of time fiddling around with the camera in between. Cause nine minutes, that might be the fastest cord loaded, you know, into a dump trailer for just an average Joe or an average Jake like me. I don't know, that's pretty fast, but one thing that was holding me up, and I don't know if you guys saw it on the couple times that I was on the uh, camera side of the tote, is that when these totes are filled up with wood, it's kind of hard sometimes to find a, a good gap to fit this chain to go around the bar. Um, one gentleman suggested that when I do it, I should try and go diagonal like that that way it's around both bars and not just putting pressure on one and that way it can't really slide so it's kind of going diagonal across the x here um so that's something i need to think about and maybe try and you know keep in mind when i'm stacking these totes or when i'm filling them up with wood to try and leave a gap on either side you know around this bar um because as you can see i'm just on my last or second to last link there at the chain hook I had to come all the way out to this front uh, bar just because that's where there was a gap where I could fit the chain around it. Uh, so I'm really glad that I went with a full length of chain instead of just cutting it short to like keep it right here. Um, I did that on purpose. Um, and yeah, so I'll have to keep that in mind to stack the wood and maybe kind of leave like a little gap right on this like second row. I think that would hit about the second row of uh, firewood logs in there. So that about wraps it up. That's pretty good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Chris, I hope that helps. I know you've been considering uh, getting a Kubota tractor, or I know you said at one point you're considering getting an e even an L3901, and you're curious as to how long it takes me to load a cord into the trailer. So there's your answer. If you got the three totes all staged up next to it, you got the chains, the forks, and everything, roughly nine minutes. Um, I could probably even cut that down by maybe 15, 20 seconds or so um, in the future if I keep in mind that I got to leave room for the hooks. But uh, that about wraps it up. As always, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Share with your friends. I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks for watching.